What's going on right now? I'll be sharing with you guys how I've added five inches to my neck in roughly eight years and I'm gonna be giving you guys some of the ins and outs along with what I'm currently doing right now for my yoke. For those of you who don't already know what the yoke is, it's basically a combination of the neck and the traps and together they give you that thick look that a lot of us are striving to get but there's so much misinformation out there that a lot of people don't know how to achieve these goals. They don't know the steps to take but I'm telling you it's a combination of direct trap work and direct neck work it's the right exercise selection, the right execution, the right volume, frequency, the right programming, and most importantly, the right progressions. So with that being said, I've been trying out so many different things in the last couple of years. I've tried, if you look at my oldest video on this channel, I was talking about neck training and I was training it way before that too. And I've made so many trials and errors, been through so many with neck training, especially, and even traps. And I've tried every exercise under the sun. And if you guys want to know more about my 2021 philosophy is more in depth on trap training. Check out this video right here. But at the same time, I'm using a different exercise for my traps and I'm using a different kind of harness for my neck. So I'm gonna be diving into that today and enjoy. So right now I'm showing you guys a current superset I use for my yoke in 2021. So many gyms, I lead to more than you think, actually have access to this grappler landmine handle. It's the main reason why I personally got it because this is one of the few shrugs and shout out to Christian Thibodeau. Pretty sure he got this from Jim Wendler, but nonetheless, this is one of the few shrugs that actually hits the mid traps along with the upper because there's a partial rowing component to it and you feel a great stretch in these. If you're one of those people who get a lot of T-bar rows, you get a lot out of that exercise. It's definitely one of the shrugs for you. At least it's worth the try. So here's a rear view. Definitely get a great contraction in my yoke. And if you really want the complete package, you don't want to forget to train your neck either. So right after this, I do a three sets of 20 paused. And once I'm finished with the landmine shrugs, that's when I get into my neck work. So I'm personally training my neck once a week right now but maybe in the future I'll train a bit more often, but at the moment this is what I'm doing. And I'm training everything kind of at once. So super setting everything at once. I'm doing my neck curls, three sets of 20, pause bottom, pause top. I just sped it up for you guys. And the cues here are to initiate with the back of the neck. I wanna minimize shrugging, get a nice pause at the bottom. And I like these a lot because unlike other harnesses, you actually have the support on the chin. So it's very stable. You're very locked in the position. And you could do these seated too. I was just doing them standing up, which is a bit restless. And the last part of the superset is the neck curl done with the band. So this adds a different resistance profile to the neck because unlike straight weight, you get straight weight, you get more tension at the top of the movement. So I sped this up as well, but ideally you want to pause at the top pause at the bottom and you don't want to jerk the bands it's a mistake a lot of people make you want a slow concentric slow eccentric nice pauses and that's pretty much my current superset for yoke training it's a three-way superset so you could call it some kind of giant set and as a little bonus i'm just showing you guys you have access to this as well unlike other harnesses you actually have a pin in the back so you could do neck curls in this fashion as well with the chain hanging off with the kettlebell so hope sums helps. it up that's personally how i'm training my yoke at the moment i'm using a trap exercise for higher reps and i'm super setting it with some neck curls along with some neck extensions so super simple you could do this on your back day if you're following some kind of split if you're not doing a split you could do it on like an upper body day if you're doing upper lower if you're doing a full body you could find a way to plug and play this. But at the same time, there's also frequency and volume to take into account too. So if you really want a muscle to grow, you don't want to be hitting it once a week. You want to get at least two times a week frequency, at least in my opinion. And that pretty much wraps up. As far as the harness, this is the current harness I'm using at the moment. It's the neck flex. Highly recommend it. I got more content dropping on it. And that pretty much wraps it up. So let me know in the comment section below, how is your yoke development coming along? How many inches is your neck? Are you content with how many inches you have? What's your goal for this year as far as your yoke is concerned? Let me know and I'll be sure to help you guys out. So, ciao.